What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today I have a quick update for you guys coming from Battlefield 2042. Uh, we have some bad news and kind of good-ish news. Um, so Battlefield literally tweeted today, we have news about a big delay. So if you didn't know, there is a season one coming out for Battlefield uh, 2042, which was said to be released in March or at least a leak set. I don't think that ever been uh, has been confirmed by Battlefield 2042 itself. And there was a update coming in February, which they did confirm from the previous update they brought out. But they stated on Twitter that they are going to delay this. So what's the plan for DICE right now is that there's going to be a delay for Season 1 which is going to come out in early summer now instead of March, early summer, whatever that means, like that's June or July, early July, maybe late June. And the update we were going to get in February is delayed till March. So we are going to have to deal with the state of the game it is right now for at least another month. It is, they said it's going to be early March though. And what they're going to be working on is uh, the voice communication, uh, a tighter squad loop including a refined ping system, feedback based improvements to gunplay, uh, improved reward loop, and expanded tools, modes, and tweaks to players experience gains in Battlefield Portal. So the March update is looking pretty good. Um, I am just afraid the game will actually not survive till the summer. Hopefully we're going to get some more updates between March and season one update. That's what I'm guessing they're going to do. That is why it's delayed. They said uh, they're going to try and improve the game as much as possible instead of uh, just bringing out season one with the state of the game being as it is right now. So expect a couple of updates in between March and the summer update and for the next upcoming four, five, maybe six weeks, we're going to have to deal with the way the state of the game is right now. I am very worried for the game at the moment. I said I had my hopes up for this game until season one. If season one is going to be bad, then I'm not sure if I'm going to continue playing this. However, that was with me thinking season one was going to be released in March and not February. So right now we're going to have to hope the game will survive until then. They said they're going to, um, you know, expand the tools, modes and tweaks to player experience gains in Battlefield Portal in the March update which could mean we're getting at least some interesting game modes to play and some cool Baofu Portal because I feel like Baofu Portal could actually be very good if that actually gets some life into it because right now if you go through Baofu Portal there might be a couple of XP farm servers you know AFK 24-7 whatever that type of servers are and then across every region there might be maybe two to five playable servers available with space to join which is just a little bit unfortunate at the moment but that's the way portal is so if they could improve on bringing modes to the game and increasing the player base on at least battlefield portal the game might be able to survive until the summer if you didn't know if you haven't played 2042 right now um i'm from europe which is uh one of the most active uh, regions I guess to play Balfour in. Uh, North America is very popular as well. I've heard people from the Middle East, uh, South Africa, um, OCE as well, they're just struggling to find games. There, there's literally no breakthrough servers and that's like kind of what we're slowly getting into in the popular regions as well unfortunately. I've been getting in servers where one-fourth of the server is AI. This is with and without playing with crossplay. Another problem that I've been experiencing lately on the PlayStation 5, I don't know if it's a common thing, but since the last update, I have been crashing quite a bit. I, on an average, I crash about once every hour, which is very painful, you know, you're getting in a zone of the game, which is already hard enough, and then the game will crash. So I hope that's something they're gonna work on within the March update, and that the game will run at least, you know, to a playable state where I don't have to deal with crashes um, hopefully there's a little bit more of a balance balancing uh, they're gonna bring improvements to the gunplay which i'm very curious for in march uh, i heard there's a scoreboard coming in march 
Um, so the March update is looking somewhat promising, but if it's gonna be good enough to keep the game alive till season one, that is uh, what I'm wondering. We're gonna have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. I'm personally pretty disappointed with this. I kind of saw it coming. I was like, there's no way we're gonna get a February update and then a month later already season one. That was a little bit too ambitious, but I was at least hoping for the February update. I've been playing the game pretty much daily and the state of the game right now is just getting very painful with the crashes, with servers dying out, with just AI players. Um, so it's just a little bit unfortunate right now. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Hopefully it will be for the better in the long run, but we're gonna just have to wait and see at this point. I'm not sure what I'll be doing. Let's hope the March update is gonna be good enough and keep things interesting till the summer. Uh, I have my doubts, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Hope you guys find this video interesting. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet for daily videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.